YouTube, top of the morning, man. What's good with y'all? It's your man Gip, and I'm back with another. Some more of this truck in this drive-in game, man. Looking at this load right here. Just curious as to how much these uh pallets weigh. They look extremely heavy. But when you push on them, they not that bad, man. At 22 pallets. We taking up over the grapevine to a grower, man. It's a chill. When they talk about what they be putting in the food, I don't know what this shit is right here. But this is what they growing our food with, man. It's like some type of sandy material. Some type of additive that they add to the soil. What? But uh, definitely going to have to strap these down. Like I just told the guy, man. Like how much do these damn things weigh? Because I am going through a scale. And I'll be sitting here waiting for you guys to send another truck. And a forklift. And a pallet jack. To remove some of the weight off the back of snow, man. So we backed in. Another one of these crazy docks. About to get loaded. And uh, be productive today, man, with some more of this trucking. Plenty straps right here. Finna strap this thing down viciously. Definitely don't need none of that stuff falling over. Van is nice and clean on the inside. You know, I'm ready to do a moving, man. Yes, sir. Suckers look heavy, don't they, y'all? Uh? Like I said, when you push on them, they, they move around. I'm like, man, how much these damn things weigh? He said, not too much, not more than a thousand pounds, he said. So, 22 pallets, 22,000 pounds, not too bad. Outside of being overloaded, you gotta take into the fact of uh, all the fuel you be burning to climbing this mountain I'm getting ready to climb just to get up through the grapevine and down into the Central Valley, man. But it's cool, man. I'm not complaining. Just sharing you guys the uh, the trials and tribulations of trucking. You don't know what your next load is going to bring and consist of. Well, whatever it is, man, we're going to get it done. We're going to get it loaded, get this bad boy strapped down. Get up over this grapevine. Get that BOL sign and ching ching, man. I ain't tripping. I done already been ching ching. This is the uh, broker that I was telling you guys about in the last couple of videos ago that I had to put my own stipulations on about breaking that bread. Break that bread off first before I move. I think maybe cuatro paletas. See, it's, it's more better. See, see. Yeah, me and the guy was just wondering like. Do we put a strap for each two pallets or out to the nah, maybe four, put four pallets, then we strap them down. I was just in this area yesterday, y'all. That's why I got on that when I finished up that one of the Amazon loads. But we got a scale house up ahead, man. And uh, yesterday it was closed. So you know how when you're pushing through these scale houses, it's either going to say all trucks must enter or scales closed do not enter. And I can see it, man. All trucks must enter scale. Your boy got to blow past the scale today, man. Oh. Supposed to do that, but I got to get on through here. See the sign, look. All trucks stop at scale. It's kind of crowded up in there, too. Or if you normally have, like, one of them transponders, it'll just beep your truck to go on through there, man. But, uh... through the scale today. I was just voluntarily went to the other scale house just the other day to get a uh, level one inspection. But we got to blow through here today, y'all. Hate doing that. You know, it's always good to stay in compliance. And I'll let you know why I blew through here. 
couple seconds, man. Let me put my cloak and device on. And hyperlapse up out of here. This is why I blew past, man. Not because we need some fuel. Even though I'm gonna go ahead and drop a hun done in the tank while I'm here, man. Plan on spending 300 on fuel. 609 don't look too bad compared to what I just saw up the street for 699. But uh the reason I blew past that damn scale house over there, the DOT scale house, man, because I wanted to come get to the certified scale, man. The cat scale. This load feels heavy as hell, man. These brokers is a trip, man. They'll tell you anything to get the load through. You know what I mean? You be dealing with people who don't even drive trucks, who don't feel the weight, who ain't running the risk of, uh, you know, impacting their business CSA score, impacting your license, man. I'm the one out here responsible for this load, man. You know what I mean? If it's overloaded, it falls on me. The ticket falls on me. But anyhow, man, we at the scale. And to jump on this thing, man. Dudes be selfish, man. I told him that this shit is overweight like crazy, man. That's the last load I'm pulling for these people, man. Cap. <laughs> Number 20. All right, I got your weight for skill parking. Come on in. Thank you. Okay. All right, so the lady got us all ready, man. This motherfucker's heavy, y'all. Got the tires where they belong, man. Let me show y'all this damn low, man. Now I see why they was asking for all them damn straps. There's straps everywhere. So even a big ass pallet hanging out here on the back. Open up this door slowly, man. Yeah, look at these big ass bags, man. Just showed them to y'all when we picked up, man. Look at this, man. From the back, from the rooter to the tutor, it's like this here, man. Now, what y'all think, man? Am I just tripping? Am I just tripping or do this look overloaded? Nope. The show feel like it, man. I've been driving these things long enough to know how it feels when they just be sluggish around and just waddling around. Stuff ain't good for your trailer either, man. Your cross members is taking the beating. Tires is taking the beating. Suspension. Airbags, shocks. Let me go get this paper from this lady, man, and see what this damn thing is weighing at. Ain't gonna be no reway because we too far to take the load back. And it's crazy because this pilot sits right at the base of these mountains that I gotta climb, man, to get into the grapevine. So I'm stuck with the load. This is what I signed up for. I watched them put the stuff on there, man, you know, but they was like, they weigh about a thousand pounds, you know what I mean? With 27 pallets, it would have been 27,000 pounds. So then when they finish loading, I'm getting ready to pull out, they give me a BOL. I look at the BOL riding up the street, they say 41,000 on it. So we're here, man. We at the cat. Let's see what cats say. Let's see what cats say. Let's see what cats say. Shit, it's crazy, man. Selfish people who don't even drive rigs tell you anything to, to get you on there. All right, guys, let me go over here. Show you what I came up with and what I think I need to do. Let me just open up this little area. So, gross weight, 72,680. I'm good on my steers. We under 12,000. Good on my drive axle, we under 34,000. My trailer axle, 37,000. So, what I need to do is get some of this 37,000 from off of the trailer axle and get it on to my drive axle. And when we go outside, um, I think I know how I'm gonna do it, man. But as long as our gross isn't over that 80K, we good. That was all I was concerned with, man. But we close. 72, you might as well say 73,000. That's pretty heavy, man. I ain't gonna cap to y'all. That shit felt like it was 90,000 on me, man. So, let me go out here and um, adjust this weight around. Hopefully it's not too hard to do with all that weight being on the, uh, on the tractor, man. Okay, man, so what a relief, man. 
At least I know I'm not running the risk of getting no overweight ticket, over 80,000 pound gross vehicle weight rating. But majority of the weight is sitting on the trailer tandems. So we want to take some of that weight off the trailer tandems and try to get it up there on the tractor tandems. And I guess you're wondering like, how are we gonna do that, man? Move pallets around, set some pallets up on the, uh, the hood of the B. But what we gotta do, man, is basically slide forward the, uh, take y'all around the other side. Show you what we need to do, man. 37,000, we gotta adjust it by about 3,000 pounds. So normally, so what this airline does right here is it releases these pins that are sticking out right here. These pins right here, guys. I release my air, these pins go in, and I basically what I need to do is slide my um, fifth wheel plate up to here somewhere. It's all the way to the back right now, and the reason I got it all the way to the back is because when you hauling them containers around, your mud flaps be extra close to the landing gear on the um, the containers, man. So, my boy Mob Type, man, shout out my boy Mob Type, man. He the one who gave me the game on that. Normally, you normally you always extra heavy here and gotta adjust the weight on the trailers. But this should be an easy fix, man. I'm gonna go ahead and get my pins released. And you can see how the pins are kinda like right here on the one, two, three, four. We got four clear holes. We're gonna slide them up here and it's gonna open up the hole count in the back. And we're gonna bring the weight up this way. With more weight, we shifting the weight from back here. We bringing the weight forward because we essentially sliding this up here towards closer to the back of the cab, man. All right, man, so I slid them forward. And as you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six holes up farther. Climbing, she pulling, she pulling, she pulling, man. The B ain't number 425 horsepower. 425 horsepower, man. She climbing, man. She doing what she was built to do, man. She ain't running up like she got a Hellcat motor like that Cummins, man. That 605 2050 Tour Cummins, man. She climbing, though. Climbing, baby. Let's go, man. Slow and steady when the race, man. We in seventh gear. Pulling, y'all. We pulling. Come on, B. Come on, B. Don't let them clown you, B. Woo! Truck life, baby. Look. The box trucks is clowning. The box trucks is clowning you, B. Go, B. <laughs> Woo! Let's clown it with y'all, man. Having a little fun, man, while we trucking, man. That's how they come through on y'all boy at 389. Big Cummins joint. Come on, B. Come on, B. Come on, B. Much, much, much later. All right, y'all. What goes up must come down, man. We're starting our descent down this wicked 6% gray mountain. It's probably like five or six miles down into the flat valley. I'm in ninth gear. I feel like I need to be in eighth, man. Let me downshift to eighth. You definitely want to be in the gear you want to be in before you really start going down any mountain, man. Because you do not want to be coming out of gear and have a hard time getting back into a lower gear. Came up in seventh and eighth, so I'm going down in eighth. Got my Jake brake on. 
do some stab breaking if it get too fast. Keep it between like 35 and 45. The ticker get up to like 45. Just use my trailer brake, slow it down five miles per hour. Let it build back up. Repeat, repeat that step, man. Y'all learned about stab braking in uh, trucking school. CDL manual teaches you that. Control braking. Speed limit is 35. So we just hold and study at about 40 right now. That's still a pretty good uh, speed. A lot of times, like I say, these guys be coming down this hill, man, just riding their brakes, riding their brakes. That's a no-no. Definitely don't want to do that, man. A lot of times you'll be riding behind some trucks that's doing that and the wind that gets that funny smell. If you smelled it, if you know, you know, man. It's a weird little stenchy burn smell. You know somebody's just on heavy footing on their brakes up ahead. I ain't touched the brakes one time. She's holding steady at 40, man. I don't think I'm gonna have to be doing no control braking. See the ticker? She's holding that 40, it's nice and steady. Eighth gear, Jake brake is on high, on three. Just keep it right here, all the way to the bottom, man. You know what the hell that thing is, some type of little sweeper, man. So I made it, man. Probably like 15 minutes, 10 minutes away from the receiver, guys. Right here in the Central Valley, man. Right in like the, the middle of California, man. The valley where they do all the food, horticulture growing. And uh, it's a trip how you be riding through the interstate that takes you north and south through this area. But when you get off of the interstate and you go like inland, it just be miles and miles of these trees and crops. I think it's a lot of uh, grape fields up here. People over there picking grapes, man. Strawberries. Got like these almond trees over here to the left. And it just be pitch black and just vicious over here, man. I'm just tripping off this load we got, how they got all these different additives and stuff for the food, man. It's a trip, man. So this is something to see, man. Look at these trucks, man. Just full of grapes, man. Green grapes, table grapes. I don't know if this is like some type of processing spot for um, to make wine. But you got big trucks pulling in here. You got small trucks, like small farmers possibly coming in here. They probably buy it by the pound, I'm sure. Look like it's spitting out some type of mulch over here and crushes it up probably take the juice into those things whatever this stuff is I got behind me got something to do with the process of it man all right y'all we got this bad boy back down in here man I may have to slide them tandems because this dock looks kind of low Oh, it might be good. I don't know. We'll figure it out, man. She's talking about the on break. Well, I got to show up at break time. Yes, sir. Yeah, we gotta we gotta slide these tandems, y'all. It's kind of low back here in the back. That's what you call. That's what I call trenches trucking. I don't want to step in that. We got to get under here and pull our latch out. Oh, I can't drop the phone. I'm trying to bleeze it for y'all. We got that pull. Now let's slide these tits out his animals back. Let's show y'all these grapes over here. They pulling up in brand new big boy trucks, man. These big old grapes, man. Big old grapes, man. Yes, 
Sure. What's up, Biffy? Hey, how about all right, all right. Look at that, y'all. Some of them look plump and juicy. Here go the green ones over here, man. Chetty Chai love grace. He's got the beef for making wine, though, man. They look raggedy as hell. Truck life, y'all. I'm in the vine, man. I'm in the great vine for real, brother-in-law. Look at these. How hard are they? Are they firm? Suckers hard, y'all. Look at that. That motherfucker's hard. And they got seeds. Look at the juice dripping off of him. Stupid, man. This is the stuff wifey love, man. She would love this, baby. Get a whole bunch of vats. They call you the vat girl. This is what you need right here. It's for all you wine heads. This is where y'all beverage starts at. These big green ones, man. And this is something to see. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they just grinding all this up. Making a uh, wine. What the hell is these, man? These look like limes or is these, these avocados, y'all? Yeah? Or oranges. These might be orange tree. They need some water in California, man. This drought is vicious. This shit look horrible, man. For real, man. I see the water line coming through here. Rows and rows. Grapefruits or oranges. I know one thing. They need to turn the sprinkler on. Bruh. A portion, baby. California, a portion, man. My 2024 20, tags came. Go ahead and stick these on here man i keep forgetting 2024 man we good for another year i always hate when it's time to uh renew insurance and registration because it's always like if you don't stay on top of them uh insurance people they like to wait to the last minute man to upgrade and renew your policy and all the brokers like to go to blocking you off the low boards learn my lesson last year with that so i was all on their head this year man being proactive about them uh getting my shit updated man and not keeping me blocked out because i've been on a mission man so out with the old 23 in with the 24 man just tripping when i was putting that sticker on there if y'all look y'all can see like the green one the green one back there then the orange and then the blue, the green one must have been 22. Orange, 23, 24, going into three years, man. Proud of myself, man. It's been a rough journey, man. It's been a rough journey, but I weathered the storm with these crazy rates, man. And for some reason, it seemed to be picking back up, man. Ain't nothing to write home about or get to doing cartwheels about it, but the rates have picked back up. At least on Amazon's low board they have. You know, I was a go-to to a lot of the other ones and I kind of been like ignoring them, man, just doing that power only for Amazon. And I've been doing pretty good off of it, man. So we got the gross vehicle weight rating of 80K right here. So let's get to 24 on that. 2024, y'all. Let's get to the other side, man. IFTA, my IFTA, they get you, we in 23, 21 when we started. 22, 23, we going into 24. Man, I'm not gonna light the, the bee up like a Christmas tree. I gotta get my heat gun and take these off, man, and just start putting the one up there the year that I'm in, man. I was just kind of excited, but shit, where I'm gonna put 24 over here and just have them painting the whole hood, man. Man, it's vicious, man. I thought summer was over with y'all. It's hot as hell, man, this valley, man. Jesus, come on, California. That's why them grapes is over there looking like that, man. I'm finna do my own. I'm about to do my own little ice challenge, y'all. Got my little cooler right here, man. I'm gonna fill this thing up with some water. Come on now. 
finna douse this. I ain't finna drink this. Pour this in ice cold, man. Ice jamming. Ooh, it's that hot, y'all. Oh, man. I don't know how them cats do it taking them ice baths, but. Getting this heavy shit up off me too, man. This shit that made a mess on here, man. I definitely going to get a trailer wash out. I got some of this black shit on here before when we was uh, when they was moving from warehouse to warehouse, and that shit had made a mess. But now it's really all over the place now, man. So this shit look crazy, man. Inhaling this shit, it's carbon. Must not be too bad for you. Said it sticks to your skin pretty bad, but um. I don't know. I gotta get this stuff washed out and cleaned out, man. They got two forklifts on me now, man. They come off that break working like a with a vengeance, man. Get your boy up out this desert. They killing us out here, y'all. Back at this damn fuel island, man. I always got hip to this spot. I know this, but it's way like up in the Central Valley. I just finished up that load I had coming to the Central Valley. See, I got a lot going on here. I got death pumping. Make sure you put your death in the right tank, fellas. Got diesel going over here. We got a uh, 550 prepaid, 50 on death. Got a little bit more to go over here. And uh, 500 in the uh, on the fuel, man. You don't want to take the home 50, man. Yeah, you find uh I found this fuel for 575 man and get to doing cartwheels. So I went on and took advantage of it, dropped that hot nickel in there. No cap. 50 on the def. Def gotta eat all that up, man. Come on, Def. We got four more dollars worth. Yeah, man. Hey killing us, man. The fuel is killing us in Cali. It's crazy. <laughs>